It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter at number three. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And this is Shepard on the catch. And he is going to have a Lions first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down at five. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's the perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Herbert. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Here comes the Lions punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And a great job on special teams to down it, as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Complete. Jefferson the target. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And they'll be stopped right at the 30. On a play that started back at the 15, they pick up 15. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. To throw on second and six, Mond. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They're certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. They follow up that gigantic gain with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Going down the middle, and it's complete. Touchdown! Amir Smith-Marset from 21 yards away. And the Vikings take a three-touchdown lead. Oh, I was 
just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is, his first miss, no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Lions offense heading out as we give you a look at the playoff race coming into the weekend in the NFC. Well, with three weeks left, they are in one of those three wild card spots, Charles, but that spot is not clinched, and there's not a ton of breathing room for them right now. Yeah, they totally have their eyes open, don't they? They know they've got teams trying to run them down. They can hear their footsteps. The question coaches ask guys in the locker room, do you have another gear left to pull away and lock in that playoff spot? If so, let's hit it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Herbert. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. A 46-yard boot, but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 93 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ballgame. They run again on first down. Cook has a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. They run it again with Cook. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Amani Oruorie. And the Lions force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And yeah, he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to kick it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And it will be Vikings ball first and 10. And now out comes Minnesota. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? From the 35 on second down, Mond. He'll find Smith Marset complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Six, 
Now back to throw. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down, but give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage, but it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Let's face it, you always want a team full of guys who can get your first downs and big plays of all styles, but you've got to have a big man. You can just turn and hand it to, and he can be dependable in picking up first downs. Now Mon. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. That second down play, that's a minus four. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Back to throw here, Herbert. He's got his tight end over the middle, T.J. Hawkinson. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. 45 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Up the middle they go. Pearson. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Pearson. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 37. They'll go option to the short side. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets them back now for second down. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. He'll decide to keep this once more. 